Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Blunderbird. Our story opens in the heart of the Amazon jungle, where the jungle wireless is carrying a frantic message. A frantic message for help. Spinner, from the Amazon. What does it say, Clutch? Shh. Listen. It says, friendly headhunters got big trouble. Stop. Come quick. Signed, Swampy. Why, it's from our old friend Swampy. Gee, Clutch, does that mean we're going to the Amazon? That's right, Spinner, just as fast as we can. I remember the friendly headhunters, Clutch. They were a swell bunch of guys. Yes, Spinner. They once helped us when we were in real trouble. Now it's our turn to help them. We should be there in a couple of hours. Gosh, Clutch, all I can see for miles and miles is jungle. Where are we going to land? There's a river right near Swampy's place. It's wide enough for a landing, and we'll soon be there. Paddlefoot is getting anxious. Well, tell him he won't have long to wait, Spinner. I can see Swampy's landing dead ahead. Got my message. Sure did, Swampy. Got here as soon as we could. Come on, folks. I got my little old jungle buggy right over there. Oh, boy, Clutch. Looky. Swampy's animal buddy. Here's beaten, battered, and busted. Yep. <laughs> and still not a tooth among the four of us. <laughs> Had to bring him with me, Clutch. They're afraid to be alone. Your animals are afraid? Uh-huh. Afraid, Swampy? Afraid of what? Come on. I'll tell you all about it on the way. Everybody in the jungle is scared, Clutch. Even our friends, the friendly headhunters, have moved their village three times. And most all the wild animals have abandoned the jungle. What on earth is it, Swampy? What's terrifying everyone? A monstrous bird, Clutch. <laughs> when he walks through the jungle, it sounds like thunder. Thunder? Have you tried to capture him, Swampy? Clutch, boy, we couldn't even stop this big critter with an elephant trap. You'll see, Clutch. You'll see. It won't be long now. The friendly headhunter's village is just a couple of miles ahead. Golly! Have you ever seen this giant bird, Mr. Swampy? No, Spinner boy, but I've seen what he can do. I'd sure like to see his tracks. You won't have to wait long, Clutch. See? Look at there. Those big tracks across our road. Whoa! See what I mean? The giant track, what can it be? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure. The Blunderbird. You remember last time, Clutch and company were called to the jungle by drums whose sound originated thousands of miles away. After meeting with their old pal Swampy, he tells them of a monstrous bird who has everyone scared, even the friendly headhunters. That's the biggest footprint I've ever seen. I've been tracking nigh out of 40 years, and I've never seen anything like it. The way those tracks are sunk into the ground, I'd say that whatever made them weighs at least 2,000 pounds. That's what I figured, Clutch. Golly! 2,000 pounds! 
Come on. We better get on to the village. It's just over the next little rise now. It'll be good to see Chief Headley again. looks deserted. No, there's Chief Headley now. It's us, Chief Headley. I brought clutch cargo, spinner, and paddle for it. Oh, splendid, my dear Swampy. It is so good to see you, clutch and spinner. We are in such desperate trouble. We've heard, Chief Headley. Where are all your villagers? I sent all my people further west. The monster bird came again last night. Was anyone hurt, Chief? No, Clutch. The monster bird did not actually enter the village. But I did not wish to take any unnecessary chances. I was afraid he would strike. Have you seen the monster, Chief? Do you know what kind of a beast it is? Only from its tracks, Clutch. Come into my hut. I want to show you something. I have done considerable research on these giant tracks. Have you seen the tracks, Clutch? Yes, I have, Chief. Swampy showed us the tracks on the way here. Does this look like the tracks you saw? It certainly does, Chief. That's the critter's tracks, all right. It says here, this is the footprint of the extinct pterodactyl, a giant flying reptile <gasps> of the genus Pterodactylus, characterized by wing-like anterior limbs. No. This is more serious than I thought. We've got to figure a way to stop this creature. That is why my two warriors and I stayed behind. We must stop him here. Do you have a plan, Chief Headley? Yes, preparations are being made now. But we do not have much time. Then we'd better go outside and see if we can help. Good idea, Clutch. Soon it will be dark and the monster will come. We must be ready. You see, my warriors are placing big spears in the ground to form a barricade. If the monster charges into our village in the dark, he will run into those spears. It's a good defense barrier, Chief. But what we need is firepower to back it up. I got my big high-powered rifle over in the jungle buggy, Clutch. Unless I miss my guess, Swampy, one rifle won't be enough to stop a giant pterodactyl. Is it really the monstrous bird? Will they see it or get it? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Battlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Blunderbird. You remember last time, Clutch Cargo and Company, with Swampy, had entered the village of the friendly headhunters. Chief Headley told them about giant pterodactyls that roamed the earth, claiming that the huge tracks belonged to one of them. As they were about to trap the giant bird... What are we going to do, Clutch? I've got a plan that ought to stop him dead in his tracks. Got any spare inner tubes, Swampy? Why, sure, Clutch. Spare inner tubes are something I always carry. These jungle trails ain't exactly no freeways, you know. Uh, what is your plan, Clutch? That row of trees over there. We can cut them into giant slingshots. I am beginning to get the idea already, Clutch. Swampy, you and I will take the jungle buggy and gather some straight saplings. I better hurry and get my animal buddies inside where they'll be safe. Spinner, you and Paddlefoot gather lots of firewood. Why, Clutch? We want to be able to see what we're shooting at, right? Right, Clutch. Let's get to work. With good teamwork, Operation Stock Monster makes great strides towards completion. As each person pitches in and does his part, the super slingshots are soon made ready for defense of the friendly headhunter's village. That ought to be enough wood, Paddlefoot. You are a big help. Well, Chief Headley, our defenses are about ready. Right, old clutch cargo. The slings are all loaded. Now all we have to do is run the trip line into your hut and wait. I'm sure we won't have to wait long. 
It will soon be dark. Right, Chief. We'll light the fire now and get inside. I sure hope this big bird booby trap works, Clutch. It should, Swampy. I set the spears to fire about 10 feet above the ground. They should hit the monster dead center. Gosh, what if we miss him? And he just keeps coming. Don't think about it, Spinner. Hey. Listen, I think I hear oh, something coming. Oh, oh. Take it easy, everybody. Let's not panic. Get ready, Clutch Boy. Something is almost to our line of fire. Right, Swampy. A few more steps, and I'll let him have it. Let's take a look outside, Clutch Boy. I think we got him. Oh, no, we didn't. Listen. That critter sure must be tough. Oh, dear. If he finds us here, it will be most embarrassing. A pterodactyl has a most terrible temper. Shh. Don't make a sound. Maybe he'll go away. Hey, listen. He stopped. By Jove, now. Is he going away? Take a careful peek outside, Clutch, and see what it looks like. Careful, Clutch. Oh, no! Our fire's out, and it's dark as pitch. Quick, douse the lights, Chief. He's bound to spot us. Wow, with the fire out, will the bird attack? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pals Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Blunderbird. You remember last time, Clutch and Company with Swampy and Chief Headley figured out a way to trap the giant pterodactyl. Waiting breathlessly, they finally heard the giant bird and let go with a shower of slingshot arrows. However, the bird got away. Now... What are we going to do now, Clutch? We can't venture out there in that dark jungle. We better wait it out here in the hut until daybreak. But what if that critter comes back? <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed and hope that won't happen. Morning finally comes. All is quiet in the little village of the friendly headhunters. All's clear. Ah, my two trusty warriors are unharmed. Look, the monster walked right through our big bonfire. Walked through it. Why, he stomped it all out. Woo-wee! A fire-stomping pterodactyl. And his footprints go right through uh, my village. I can't understand how we missed him with our barrage of spears. We sure missed him, all right. Look over there. Woo-woo! Look at that. How could anything survive that shower of spears? We're going after that bird. We could stop him with one well-placed shot. It better be a good one, Clutch Boy, or that old Pterodactyl is liable to have us for dinner. And I don't mean as dinner-type guests, neither. I'll go in the hut and get my trusty shooting rifle. Chief, you and your two warriors better stay here to guard the village while we look for this monster. Clutch! My tiger buddy is missing! Help, Clutch! I thought he was in here with battered and beaten. You suppose he went out during the night? You mean the big monster bird got him? Poor old Busted never harmed a soul in his life. Hey, Paddlefoot, what is it, boy? He's trying to tell us something. It's something inside my desk. Quick, open it, Swampy. Well, I'll be Busted. What are you doing in there, you old toothless tiger buddy? He was hiding from the big monster bird, Swampy. <laughs> See that I blame him, what with no teeth to defend himself. Okay, Swampy, grab your rifle. Let's get started. Good luck, gentlemen, and be careful. Thanks, Chief, we will. And look out to my animal buddies till we get back. Look, there's a big ravine ahead. I'll see. 
And would you look at that? The ravine's at least 10 feet across, and he stepped right over like it was nothing. With a stride like that, he must be at least 20 feet tall. Well, it's a cinch we can't get across like he did. We'll have to go around the ravine and pick up the trail on the other side. Mile after mile over rough terrain, our heroes Clutch Cargo, Spinner, Swampy, and Paddlefoot follow the tracks of a monstrous prehistoric bird of mystery. Uh oh, the tracks end right here at the water's edge. Yeah, they sure do, but I don't see any 20-foot birds standing around. Wait a minute. These tracks don't stop here. See? They go right out on that narrow peninsula. Right out onto that jungle island. Well, men, looks like we've reached the end of the trail. Swampy, hand me the rifle. Get ready. This is it. Will this be the end of the trail for the giant pterodactyl? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, The Blunderbirds. You remember last time, Clutch and company with their old friend Swampy followed the tracks of the giant bird. They led them over hill and through water until finally they came to a small peninsula. Without a doubt, this is where the pterodactyl lives. That's the end of the trail, all right. A regular dead end. That big critter's bound to be right on that island. Uh, are we going in after him, Clutch? We sure are, Spinner. This is the showdown with Mr. Pterodactyl. Let's go. Looks like somebody had a fire, Clutch. Our bird monster seems to have stomped it out, Spinner. Woo-wee! He sure did. Look at that. <laughs> I don't see how that old bird could keep from getting a hot foot. Shh. He might be asleep. We'll move in quietly. Hey, what? Lucky! There's the river. We've come clear across the island, and not a sign of him. Hey, listen. I think I hear him. <laughs> coming from behind us. Sounds like he's crossing that narrow part of the peninsula. Come on, let's take cover behind that big rock. Now, everybody, as soon as he steps out, I'll blast him. My gosh, there's a whole bunch of them. They're behind that big tree. <laughs> seen anything like it before in my whole life. Little teeny birds with great big feet. What are they, Clutch? I'm not quite sure. Swampy, throw a match out there. What are you doing? You started the grass on fire. What do you mean, huh? Why, those are blunderbirds, known for stopping out fires. I thought they were extinct. You're kind of cute. But look, they walk in each other's tracks. That's why their tracks are so deep. <laughs> blunderbirds, eh? Yes, Clutch. That certainly explains why they were marching around in our village. They were on fire patrol. The book says, and I quote, the blunder bird or stomper bird of the genus Steparopitus is a natural born firefighter known for its peculiar trait of stomping out fires. It's the greatest friend you could have in the forest, Chief. They can hop 20 feet and always travel in groups of four. They are believed to be extinct 
since Precambrian times. No. <laughs> And so ends the story of Clutch, Cargo, and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, and the Blunderbird. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch, Cargo, 